I got to tell you that in, a, that in a world such as this, you cannot make it without God Almighty. In a world such as this, you cannot make it without God Almighty. I don't think anybody would argue that, we, that the world that we live in today was not the world that we lived in yesterday. Meaning, date back 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, even 50 years ago, 60 years ago, 70 years ago. This, this world is totally on the flip side of what it was way back in the days. And you don't even have to be that old to even know it. Some of you may be, you may be um, in your um, late 20s, you may be in your early 30s, your mid 30s, late 30s, early 40s, mid 40s, late 40s, early 50s, mid 50s, late 50s, early 60s, mid 60s, late 60s, and so forth and so on. But I don't think anybody would too much argue that the world that we live in today is not, the, not like the world we lived in yesterday. And although there is nothing new under the sun, this world has always been very, very wicked, but the Bible speaks about an increase in wickedness. And see, that's one thing people have to understand is that the more wickedness that is applied to this world by the hands of the disobedient, by those that want to dibble and dabble in Satanism, those that want to walk hand in hand with Satan and hold hate in their heart, the more wickedness that you pull out of the kingdom of darkness and bring to this world, it is going to change the entire, I'm hearing the entire dynamic of this world, the entire flow of this world. Everything almost will be out of order. People will not have the, they will not be spirited like they used to be. They will have the personalities that maybe it wasn't them, maybe it was another generation. But what I'm saying is, and I know each generation evolves, but this is what I'm saying. There's something strange going on in this world. And I'm telling you, you will not make it without God because the strange thing that's going on is called devil. Can I talk out here this, uh, this, um, tonight? Can I talk out here tonight? The strange thing that is going on is called devil. It's called demons. It's called demonic possession. That's what it's called. Because, see, let me tell you something. And I'm not going to be before you all too long. When, when you take a, a, a pool of folk and they turn their back on God Almighty, when you turn your back on God Almighty, who do you think you just turn toward? When you turn your back to God, you just turn your attention to Satan. And any time that, you know, Satan is not the supreme ruling force, but he is a ruling force as it pertains to what humanity does not does not allow as it pertains to the systematic flow of this world. Anytime you allow Satan, you, you select Satan, a criminal, to be what you would consider your supreme authority, you're going to have this type of world. You're going to condemn what is good and set free what is bad. When Jesus was um, sent to the cross, sent to his death, they convicted an innocent man, Jesus, and they let a criminal go free. They chose that which was wicked over that which was who, the person who was holy. They chose somebody that follows the devil over somebody who is God. Oh my God, Jesus said, when you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And anytime you live in a world that wants to put Satan first, this is the kind of world that it, that it will produce, pure wickedness. People don't even act normal. And I'm not saying anybody specific. I'm not saying everybody collectively. I'm just saying you all can pick and choose out the crowds you see who don't act right and who don't look right. There's something going on with folks. People don't even have a, it's like they don't even have a spirit anymore. They're not spirited. They don't have personalities. They don't have no joy. They are like machinery. They are mechanical. To me, that's called demons. No personality. I'm not saying, oh, well, just because somebody doesn't have a, um, uh, uh, I wanna, I'm hearing lit personality that they're a demon. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. This is what I'm saying. That it is such a widespread epidemic now. 
meaning, um, you know, just how demonic this world is, that it, it, it's, it's almost viewed as what looks like normal. I'm telling you, there's nothing normal about this planet. There is nothing normal about this planet that invites what the kingdom of darkness has to offer, and that's nothing but hell. That's nothing but torment. That's nothing but a world full of folk that don't have no joy. Not everybody, okay? But I'm just saying, I'm not targeting anybody. But a world that has people in it that don't have no joy. They don't have no personality. I mean, even if they try to laugh, it's almost like it hurts their face to even laugh. Have y'all, you know what? Let me tell you guys something. When you observe how people were many years ago, how spirited they were. See, there's something about even when you are a sinner and you still respect God, there's something to be said about something, somebody like that. There's something to be said about a, 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 a people that says they may not be living for God, but they respect God. See, God will keep somebody like that covered. But when you live in a world that don't respect God, first of all, what makes you think they're going to respect you? When you live in a world that don't respect God and God is the giver of life, God is the giver of a good personality, God is the giver of cheer, God is the giver of mercy, God is the giver of grace. When you, when you live in a world where people disrespect a God that is the giver of all of that, what do you think the product is going to be? What do you think those people are going to be? A product of hell or what it represents rather. That's the reason why this world is so strange now. It's so strange because it boasts itself in the face of God. It calls God a lie. I don't care what God said in his word. I mean, I care, but I'm, I'm using this in this tense. No matter what God says in his word, I'll, I'll reword it. No matter what Father says in his word, the world will call Father the lie and the devil the truth. And the Bible can 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 strictly tell humanity that the devil deceiveth the whole world. That's recorded in the book of Revelation. But people would rather believe a lie than believe the truth. And it is because they did not want to retain God in their knowledge that God has given many over to a reprobate mind. A reprobate mind to do things which are not convenient because sin is not convenient. It's not beneficial to you. Sin is something that can destroy your entire life. Don't you know that the more wicked that people are, I personally believe, you don't have to agree with me, but the more demonic entities that are invited into this world to destroy innocent people. And I know a lot of people, you know, nothing is new under the sun. At, at things like rape and pedophilia and murder and hate and racism and jealousy and envy and conspiracy and all, all none of that is, is anything new. That stuff was going on in Jesus' day. But what I'm saying is that in the last days, in our day, it's worse. And the Bible recorded that it would be worse. That in the last days, perilous times would come. And the Bible goes on, I think that, well, I know that's in the book of 2 Timothy, if you want to read that. And um, in other books of the Bible, Jesus was talking about, um, in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Jesus was talking about um, what to expect in the last days, what will be a sign of his coming of his return to this world. And he spoke about false Christ and um, things of that nature and false prophets and talked about um, wars and rumors of wars. And I think sometimes people just feel like it's redundant to them. They feel like they've heard it so much that they've become immune to it. Like, oh, well, yeah, you know, they've heard it before. But don't you ever allow yourself to fall asleep. Don't you ever allow your, I'm hearing yourself to turn your back on God just because it's not happening right now. Just because Jesus is not back right now. Because the presence of the Lord is all over this planet. Don't be deceived. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the good and the evil. Don't be deceived. You have to continuously praise God. You have to continuously stay plugged into God. You have to deal with God to deal with the spiritual filth that is on this planet. Can I talk out here? There are a lot of influential spirits out of the demonic realm. That's the reason why a lot of people